People ask me, were you always this good? Did you just pick up your prosthetic tad hand and start tatting? To those people I say, hell no. I wasn't always this fucking good. It takes time. It takes dedication. I lost my hand 15 years ago today. I thought I would never put my finest art onto the skin of my customers. I put myself through a 12 year trade school online to get my skills on the bench to combine steel, wood, magnets, moon rocks, screws to create my finest masterpiece, my prosthetic tad hand. I spent months scratching my head, completely stumped at how to build this apparatus. I can't remember how many sleepless nights I spent working on it, thinking about it, trying new things, trying to make it work, just trying to get my life back. I missed it, boy. Oh, I wanted to get back. I can taste it. And one day, the pieces all came together as if the puzzle had a core magnetic force. First time I loaded it up, I was so nervous. I couldn't wait to see if it worked. And boy, I plugged that thing and it was as smooth as butter. I loaded up that ink and I was slinging it all over the place. It's like I never stopped. I got my strength back. I built my clientele. I was getting back to where I used to be. I could feel it. And uh, I was inspired by his struggle to overcome. I was inspired by his, uh, his making a new uh, uh, breakthrough in the realm of tattooing. Uh, we're going to be using his very own invention today. I'm thinking of myself as a living testament to this man and his spirit. So symbolically, we're going with some gears in testament to his, uh, his, uh, him overcoming what befell him. I'm booked out nine years in advance. I charge $750 an hour for my work because I'm worth it. It certainly wasn't easy to make this happen, to make this dream a reality. This wasn't a desire. This wasn't something I wanted to do. This was something I had to do and I couldn't quit until it was done. I did quit a few times, but then I came back again. And in the end, although having quit and then quit again after coming back and saying I wouldn't quit, I, I finished it. Yeah, I finished it. It wasn't easy. I came up against a lot of walls. I'd put it down, walk away from it for a minute, come back. The wall was still there. <coughs> it was still there.